Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.4 chemical digestion. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 7.4 you need to describe and state the role of chemical digestion, describe the functions of amylase, proteases and lipase, state where these enzymes are secreted and where they act, and describe the functions of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. For extended you need to describe the digestion of starch and protein in a little more detail and describe the role of bile in providing a suitable pH for enzyme action. So chemical digestion is defined as the breakdown of large insoluble molecules into small soluble ones that can be absorbed and utilized by the body. Enzymes secreted by glands break down solid food into a solution of dissolved particles that are small enough to pass through the epithelial lining of the small intestine and into the bloodstream. You need to describe the functions of three types of enzymes in the process of chemical digestion, amylase, proteases and lipase. Now this information has already been brushed over in topic 7.2, so if you want a more general overview of how enzymes function within the digestive system, I suggest you go and watch that one first. Amylase breaks down the complex carbohydrate starch into simple reducing sugars. It's produced by salivary glands and released into the mouth through ducts. Chewing breaks down food and mixes it with saliva, allowing the amylase to get to work. The salivary amylase begins the process, but it continues further down the line in the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. Here, pancreatic juice containing amylase, as well as proteases and lipase, is released into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct. Proteases are a group of enzymes that chemically digest large insoluble proteins into amino acids, their soluble subunits. Glands in the stomach lining secrete gastric juice containing protease, as well as hydrochloric acid. The acid kills any harmful organisms that may have been ingested with the food and provides an acidic pH for optimum enzyme activity. Now the protease in the gastric juice begins the process, but proteins must be broken down further before they can be absorbed. It continues in the duodenum by the action of proteases in the pancreatic juice and is finalized in the ileum. Here, enzymes in the epithelial cell membranes break down the now short protein chains into soluble amino acids for absorption. Finally, lipase breaks down fat molecules called triglycerides into soluble fatty acids and glycerol. It's produced alongside the other enzymes in the pancreas and does its work in the duodenum. Okay, so that's everything for the core section, so we'll move on now to the extended content. So the chemical digestion of starch is actually a two-part process. The first stage occurs in the mouth and duodenum, where salivary and pancreatic amylase break down the long-chain polysaccharide starch into 12 carbon sugar molecules called maltose. The second stage takes place in the ileum, where another enzyme called maltase, present in the epithelial cell membranes of the villi, breaks down maltose into glucose, which is small enough to be absorbed. Several different enzymes are involved in the digestion of proteins. Firstly, a protease called pepsin, which functions best in the acidic conditions of the stomach, breaks down the long chains of amino acids into smaller molecules called peptides. In the duodenum, another called trypsin continues the job. Trypsin has a similar role to pepsin in that it produces peptides, but works best in the neutral conditions of the duodenum. Finally, in the lining of the ileum, a third enzyme called peptidase breaks down the peptides peptides into amino acids, which are subsequently absorbed and taken up by the bloodstream. Now the enzymes of the small intestine work best in fairly neutral conditions, but the mixture of food and gastric juices that comes from the stomach is acidic. To counter this, an alkaline mixture called bile is released from the gallbladder in which it's stored. Bile contains sodium hydrogen carbonate, which neutralizes the gastric juices, allowing the enzymes in the duodenum to function optimally. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.4, chemical digestion. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 7.5, absorption.